I, I wanted to start off by, by asking you about something that happened yesterday. We got some, some pretty exciting news, and um, I also want to add some context um, for the audience. So the first document that was published by The Guardian in uh, June, almost two years ago, revealed that the NSA was collecting phone records of millions of Verizon customers daily. Uh, so it showed that the US government was collecting phone metadata on, on thousands of people. Um, and so shortly after um, this document was published, the ACLU filed a lawsuit. And yesterday, uh, we heard that the Second Circuit Court of Appeals held that the statute the government is relying on to, to justify this program, um, Section 215 of the Patriot Act, does not permit the gathering of this information and that the surveillance program is unlawful. Um, and so what was your reaction when you first heard about this? Uh, this is significant. Uh, the importance of it in the United States legal community, the policy community, really can't be overstated. Um, when we when we look at the actual uh, the actual uh, ruling and and what it held uh, was that the the program that had originally started as warrantless wiretapping under uh, President George Bush in the 9/11 era, uh, and then was eventually the the Congress tried to pass sort of authorizing legislation a fig leaf that would let it go by, um, had uh, had basically never been lawful to begin with, and yet they did it anyway. What's extraordinary about this is the fact that in 2013, uh, prior to the leaks, the same issues had been, uh, they had been tried to be, uh, to be reviewed by the courts. Uh, another NGO called Amnesty International brought the same challenge against the same individual, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, and they threw it out of court because they said that Amnesty International could not prove that they had been spied on. Because of this, whether or not the programs were lawful, whether or not they were a violation of rights, they would not allow them into the courtroom. Uh, come 2015, uh, when basically the first uh, story that had been published by uh, Glenn Greenwald and the other journalists working on this uh, was uh, a secret order from a secret court uh, that basically said you can monitor the phone calls, uh, intercept the call detail records, uh, collect all of the metadata, metadata being analogous to the kind of information the private eye would collect if they were following you around. Uh, not necessarily a record of every single word that you said in conversation with someone else, because you might notice them, but they would know where you had traveled, who you had met with, uh, where the meeting took place, what time it occurred, how long it went on for, so on and so forth. That is a sort of metadata in the phone context. It's not what you say on the call. It's who you're calling, how long, uh, association records, basically who your friends are. But this secret program authorized that to occur in secret, uh, sort of um, by a secret court. Uh, and it wasn't something where it authorized uh, any particular targeting of any particular individuals. Rather, it said they could collect the full records of all 330 million Americans in the country uh, without having any criminal suspicion, without having any reasonable suspicion, even of wrongdoing uh, of any kind. Rather, they would collect it all in advance of any criminal investigation or criminal activity. And this being struck down, uh, is really a radical sea change in the level of resistance that the United States government has faced thus far. So far, courts have said basically, uh, it's not our place, our role, to tell the executive branch of government how to do their job. It is extraordinarily encouraging to see that courts are beginning to change their thinking to go look. If Congress will not uh, pass reasonable laws, if the executive will not uh, act as sort of a responsible steward of liberty and rights uh, in how they execute the laws, it falls to the courts to say, look, this has gone too far. Uh, this no fair reading of the law uh, would authorize this. And even had that occurred, it's not reasonable to expect the public to have known uh, that this was the law and it must change. And that's, that's really significant. And I think it's, this decision will not affect only the phone metadata program. It will affect every other mass surveillance program in the United States going forward. Great, thank you.